how to use ClickUp quick and easy. Hi guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use ClickUp.com project management software to collaborate with your team, manage your projects and much more. So let's get into it. First of all, you can do is you can go to ClickUp.com and you will land right here. ClickUp is a very famous project management software that allows you to create your own projects customize your task, collaborate with your team, and much more. Once you get to ClickUp.com, you need to sign up. So in order to sign up, you can click on this button right here. The signing up process is really easy and it's for free. All you need to do is just enter your email address, click on Get ClickUp, and you will be able to get your own dashboard on ClickUp.com. After the initial sign up or sign in to your ClickUp, this is where you will get. Now, Click looks a little complicated and a lot of people get confused how to create a project, how to create a board, what is a board, what are different views that are available on ClickUp, how to create a task. So don't worry about it. I will explain everything in very simple words. Once you get to ClickUp.com, we can create our more than one spaces and each space has its own different projects, folders and boards. To create a new space, you will get the option right here. Click on new space and you will be able to do so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to call this space, let's say TSG. Then we can choose from a template or start from the scratch. I'm going to click on next. Moving on, you have to give your space a color or an avatar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with a blue color right here and quickly change our logo. Click on next. Moving on, we can create a private workspace or a shared workspace. So I will be going with a shared workspace. Then we have to enter some of these statuses that we want to go for. So what I'm going to do is I am going with a to do status. Then we're going to add another one, which is going to be in progress. So these are some of these statuses that we need to add in order for our project management. Click on done. So we have to do, then we have in progress. Then we're going to add another one, which is going to be completed. Perfect. Click on done. You can, of course, change the color for each status. I'm going to quickly actually do that. So in progress is going to be orange and to do. It's going to be pink. We can also select templates. There are a lot of templates available on ClickUp. And as a complete beginner, it will help you to create a very professional workspace of your own. For now, I'm going to go with these statuses and then we have next. Moving on, we have to enter some of the tools that we will be working with. We have priorities that we can set for our tasks that we will be adding to our ClickUp. Then we have tags, multiple assignees time tracking, dependencies, incomplete warning. So these are some of the tools and I'm going to go with all of these. Click on next. Now we have to select our view. On ClickUp, we get more than one view for our workspace. We have a list view, board view, map view, calendar view, activity view, Gantt view, table view, timeline, all of the views available. So I'm going to go with a list view, board view. Then let's actually go with a calendar view as well. Activity mind map so all of the views are actually available for free and we can also go for a table view and let's actually go for a map view as well so all of these free uh, views are available click on review space and your new space will be created we're gonna go ahead and actually and it will take you right here. So a new space looks like this and it will show you all of the different statuses that you had added. Uh, let me actually take you to one of my test uh, spaces that I have and it will show you like a complete view of a uh, space that is created on ClickUp. So you can see this one right here uh, you can see this is a very simple uh, space that i have a board and i'll be able to show you this is what it looks like when you have like a customized board created this is where i work on so i as i showed you we have different statuses we added to do in our workspace that i created just now for you guys uh, to just show you so i have added statuses such as open to do ready writing in progress this is a project management board then we have approval rejected review Similarly, we have publish, revision, closed and complete. So all of these statuses are added to manage a project. Uh, once you have created the, you know, statuses, we can add a card into it. These are like our list and each list has its own task and cards. For example, writing has five right now, like in progress, there are four. 
let's go ahead and add another card to our uh, to-do list. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit. We get the option to add right here. Plus, you can see it says create task and then we have this one as well. Before we create a task, let me actually give you a quick overview what's happening above. You can see this is our name for our space. Then we have our uh, different views. We have list view, board view, calendar and others. Then we have subtask, me, assignees, show, automate option and share. If you want to invite someone to your board, you're going to click right here on share. Enter their email address and you will be able to invite them through email. Now uh, you have invited team members as well and you're ready to create a different task. For that, you're going to select the list, the status, click on the create task and you will be able to add a task. Let's add a task for maybe record a video. Click on done and your task will be added. Now let's open it up to actually use all of the different uh, tools. We have our task here. We can go ahead and add different tags to it. For example, this is important. Then I can add another tag, which is going to be, this is a test one. And we can create uh, more tags as well. Then we have dependency. For now, I'm not going to add the dependency. We have assignees. I'm going to assign it to myself. Then we have priority. I'm going to set it to high priority. Then we have description. In description, we can go with a slash and create a checklist, a banner, table, heading and more. I'm going to create a checklist in the description. So this is a checklist that I wanted to create in the description. Then you can scroll down a little bit and we have to do that we can add. We can also add a subtask to a task on ClickUp and then we have attachments. In attachments, click on add and you can upload a file. I'm going to quickly do that and let's upload an image. So I have added and attached an image here. Moving on here, we have created date. We have time tracked. We can also do that with ClickUp and then we have due date. So here you will add your deadline. I'm going to add a deadline right here and click on close. So this is how you create a task on ClickUp. It's actually really easy to do. Once you're done, you can close it and it will be added. Now, this is my new task that I added. You can see it shows my tags. We have our priority. We have an attached file. We have our assignee. In order to move a task from one status to another, for example, this task is now ready. So I will just drag and drop it in review right here and it will be added. Uh, similarly, uh, what I can do is I can move this one from approval to let's say publish. So there you go. It will be added there. So this is how you can move one task from one list to another once you're done. We can also switch views. This is a board view. You can switch to a list view on ClickUp as well. And so list view will look like this. You can see it has its own statuses and it will show you all of the different tags that you have created, the assignees due dates, priority, and we can add more columns as well. Click on add a column and you will be able to add like a progress column, email, file, formulas, labels. I'm going to go with the files because I have attached different files to different, you know, tasks on ClickUp. So this is a list file. Then we have a Gantt view right here. You can go with this one. Then we have a calendar view. So I can go with calendar. So it will give me a calendar view of my tasks that we have created. Then we have a mind map as well. So this is how you will work and you will create a task. Let me now quickly show you the templates on ClickUp 2 if you want to go for a template. When it comes to the templates on ClickUp, we have content one. In content, we will be getting the statuses such as ready, writing, approval, rejected, and published. Then we have a Kanban template, which gives us open in progress and view. We have marketing, then we have normal and scrum. So all of the different uh, templates are available. You can use ClickUp for project management, for HR, for even CRM if you want to. We can add different spaces and create uh, different boards into it. Right here in this panel, Panel. We have our home notification policies goals and then if I scroll down we have different spaces. We have different spaces right here and each space has its own different boards created and we can switch between the boards really easily. You can scroll down a little bit for the dashboards and documents. Here you have your main workspaces and then you will get the invite option and upgrade here. Uh, in automation, I will be able to create different automations to save time and create and automate my work on ClickUp.
You can, of course, add, add your team members to share your workspace and this way you will be able to collaborate with your team. This is a very beginner's tutorial for you guys to show you how to get started with ClickUp. I hope that I was a big help and now you know how to create a space and a task on ClickUp and how to invite a team member to collaborate. I hope that I was a big help. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.